welcome back guys to the channel today i wanted to give you all my first impressions on marvel snap what i think about it and how i'm liking the game so far so i'm a guy who's been playing a lot of tcgs over my life uh i've played all the big ones magic Yu Gi Oh, pokemon uh metazoo hearthstone digimon um and i wanted to show you guys what i'm working with right now what i think about it so this is actually i don't think this is oh, this is a new deck that i built but I've been playing with this one for a minute, and I feel like it's pretty decent. I've been trying to grind up some cards. Uh, right now, currently, I am a rank 55 on the collection level. And I've been building my way up, doing all the daily missions. Here we have the mission select screen. I actually just finished the weekly challenge. A weekly challenge is just complete so many weeklies, or how many daily missions in a row. And yeah. The, the missions overall are pretty easy. It's just like play the card game and that's it. Um, down here we have the weekend challenge and then we have some other challenges uh, for the different like monthly events that are going on. Um, then over here we have the shop. I'll be honest, uh, I haven't spent any money yet in this game. Uh, the only thing I'm thinking about spending money on is maybe the Battle Pass. There's a Battle Pass system in this game, just like every other card game. And um, it does give you extra rewards, but I feel like just playing the game gives you a decent enough amount of rewards to the point where, like, you don't necessarily have to spend money. Like, you literally get rewarded for playing the game. Every time you play the game, you get boosters for free for playing the game. And then you also get just, you know, you get experience and you get... To move up on the ladder now right now i guess we'll go ahead and try out this deck the new cards in here we're trying out iron heart she's pretty cool and we're trying out america chavez so i have a guaranteed six drop every time and quicksilver as a guaranteed one drop now you might be like mark that deck kind of sucks but uh we're still I'm still playing with the basic, basic cards, so I don't want to hear it. Uh, we're going to change it to, I'll we'll change the name to Iron, because I like Iron Heart. She's pretty, she's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and get into a game. And yeah, overall, the games go by really, really fast. They are literally just six turns, and that's the end of the game. Uh, it's a game that I feel like you can grind out pretty easy. And if you're looking to get better at it, it's not insanely, it's not an insanely difficult game. You know, let's go ahead and see if we can find an opponent. I wonder if it gives us different opponents based on us playing on the computer versus the phone. Because it is also on the phone, obviously, but uh, we are playing on the computer right now so that we can record this in high quality. Let's see. So in the middle, guys, we have the... Uh, what are these called again? These are like just different areas. Each area has different things that happen. So this one is the Nexus. Your power here is granted to other locations as well. So we're probably going to want to play a lot of cards here because it'll give us, you know, this one power will spread to all the other locations. So we're going to want to do that. Turn two, we got the middle location. If you only have one card here, again, gains plus five power. Okay. Um, turn two, I could do Sentinel or I could do Quicksilver. We'll do Sentinel here. Uh, we'll do Sentinel here, yeah. So Sentinel's gonna, on play, give us another copy of Sentinel. One of the best cards ever, but I love this card. Uh, my opponent didn't play anything. We'll go ahead and snap. So what snapping does, it basically makes it so like you're betting a little bit. Uh, the more you bet on the snap, the more uh, ladder points that you get at the end of the game. So we're going to put Mr. Fantastic here so we can get boost up on both of them. And so we can get a card in the middle. Ooh, Lady Sif. On reveal, discard the highest cost card in your hand. He discarded a morph. Okay, cool. So we don't have a card on this row, so it's going to give us a bonus one energy. 
Um, we have five to mess around with. So I feel like... Hmm. I would like to go... We'll do that. Next turn we'll have five anyway, so I feel like that's fine. And we'll be able to boost up everything with Iron Man after we're done with that turn. After we're done with turn five. And he did play a card on this row, so we get a little bonus from Punisher. Punisher is uh, plus one power for each opposing card at this location. That's pretty cool. Wolverine! This card is this card to destroy or regenerate it at a random location. That's pretty cool. With plus two power. Okay. So turn five. We're going to go. Ooh, I like the Devil Dino. I actually haven't played this card yet. Plus two power for each card in your hand. So right now we're sitting at a two, four, six, eight. That'd be 11. If I do Iron Man, that would boost it up to 20. This would be 8, 11. This would be more if I just play this. And then I can do, how much energy do I have? Oh, that's already five. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess I'll do Dino. I think that's pretty decent. Yeah, we'll do Dino. Next turn, we can go Sentinel. We can go Iron Man too. Let me actually end my turn. <laughs> So it boosts up to 11. Ooh, Apocalypse. Uh, when you discard this card from your hand, put it back with four power. So final turn. Uh, we have all three locations right now, but we have America Chavez. I would like to do... I want to make sure Devil stays up pretty high. I think we just play America and just pass. Everything else is going to make us lose a bunch of cards in our hand. Your opponent retreated. So if you retreat, I think you lose less points. But, you know. Yeah, we got cards. We got, what is these, tablets? So every time you play a game, you get, like, points to basically upgrade a card in your deck. It doesn't do anything. It just, you know, gives you a collection level and makes the card look more pretty. So let's go and upgrade Dino into a frame break. That's pretty cool. Got a plus one level, we'll get some more credits. And, ooh, we got three missions on already. So win matches with a snap, play cards, and play five cost cards. Um, I guess now I'd like to still play a few more games so that I can finish these missions and you know, I'll be able to refill as uh, time goes on. So, also, I need to get I need to get this weekend challenge done. It's almost Monday, and I'd like to get them done if I can. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and stick with the same deck, because it felt pretty good to play. And... So on turn five, all cards must be played here. So I guess we'll probably keep an Iron Man in our hand. On reveal, we'll give three random friendlies a plus two power. We're gonna play Quicksilver. Turn two, I really don't have anything turn two. If you have no cards here, plus one energy for both. That's nice. Uh, but that leaves me with not very much else. I'd like to keep the plus one energy. So we'll put Mr. Fantastic on the end. It's not optimal. You know, obviously want to leave it in the middle if you can. So you can give both neighboring areas plus two. But I like to keep the extra energy. Uh, Angel, one of your cards is destroyed. This flies out of your deck to replace it. It's pretty cool. So it looks like everyone's playing uh, pool one kind of like ghetto discard decks but 
That's pretty cool. Uh, so I think we just do Jessica Jones here. Just do Jessica Jones. Next turn, we're going to have a four. So we can go probably Ironheart, I guess. Probably just go Ironheart. Hmm. So we're going to be at five now. Next turn will be at five anyway, so maybe I play Devil Dinosaur. Hmm. I could also go Sinister and then. We'll go ahead and go Sinister and then Ironheart. So Jessica Jones gets an extra plus four from not having any other cards here that turn. Go give everyone a plus two. And he's going to summon Namor. Namor is pretty good. Uh, this turn, I guess we can do... Uh, do I want to do... Devil Dino is going to be pretty weak. I guess maybe it's not the best card to be having, but... Uh, it kind of sucks because I got to I gotta play the card here, so... We do double dig, give it 24. I feel like we'll just double it. Do Iron Man, and I've, I'll probably be done with this location for the game. Now we got our turn six America Chavez. I think we're just going to put it here so that we can hopefully win this location. We'll go to Snap. We'll be at 19 power unless he summons... I don't know what he could summon. A Dino, maybe? I guess Dino might. beat us but we're looking pretty good already got two locations i i'm not gonna win atlantis there's no way i win atlantis here not with namor already out and everything so he's gonna play two cards he's gonna play nova and he's gonna play carnage destroy your other cards here plus three for each card destroyed i don't think that does enough yeah that doesn't do enough So we'll go to win that one. Victory. So now I ranked up. I got Ironheart to level up. And we'll go and break Ironheart. Got the frame break. Let's go. Upgraded my girl. And then... Yeah. So if you guys don't know, the only way to actually get cards in this game is pretty much to play the game. Um... I feel like that's a pretty cool little feature that the game has. Um, so as you move up the ranks from upgrading your cards, you'll get different mystery cards. And these are all, you know, the people you play against are going to have the same pool of cards as you. So that's probably one of my most favorite things about the game. It's, you, you can't pay money to, you know, win the game. You got to actually play to win. Uh, so let's see what other missions we got. Let's just play cards, play one cost. I guess we'll go ahead and do one more game. And then, uh, yeah. This game is pretty fun, though. You can get a lot of games done. I feel like, you know, out of all the mobile card games, it's probably the fastest one. I mean, it's only six turns. It's definitely faster than Hearthstone, man. Some of those Hearthstone games last so long. It's crazy. It's crazy. After each turn, power cards here lose one power. I guess we'll place ours in the middle then. And just hope we get something good. Because right now, I don't have a two drop. And that's kind of sad. If I don't draw my two drop, I'll be very sad. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So we'll just skip because that's all we got. Uh, next turn, we'll probably play Mr. Fantastic. play mr fantastic here so mojo world is pretty cool um we do have mr sinister right now so this is gonna put two cards in the same location so next turn we can do that and we'll have two cards already there um i guess we won't have 
anything else yeah you can have it <laughs> uh oh sentinel so we'll do mr sinister we'll do sentinel and then following turn we can do uh, jessica jones probably jessica jones seems fine and then we'll place here probably the last turn just so we don't lose too many power over here this is actually this is probably one of my favorite locations in the game so far that's off of not playing very much but i think they're pretty cool i feel like it's pretty cool it just makes it so you have to play off of two rows instead of three and you have to decide on when to do it so it's pretty cool So we got turn five we can do jessica and ant-man or i could wait for america and do that so i guess we'll go ahead and do that we'll go ahead and wait for america gonna play wolfsbane rocket raccoon's gonna get a bonus because we played cards there that turn but right now we're looking pretty good <sighs> so he has more power than us we used to do america on the jotunheim or we could do america uh like devil um, three five seven nine nine is literally the same as america just playing america and if he plays a hulk on mojo world i'll probably lose i'll play it here i guess if he has a hulk in general if he gets to the right location then he kind of just wins but you can have mojo world i'll take jotunheim Oh, I just realized I'm, pl I'm playing against the real Will Smith right now. That's crazy. Oh, he played Carnage. Doctor Strange, move your highest power cards to this location. All right. Well, we got it, brother. We got two out of three. That's pretty good. Victory. Let's go. Sheesh. And then who do we get this time? We got four. We got some more for Ironheart. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I think right now... I actually, I can upgrade someone else. <gasps> oh, I got a pixel iron heart. That's cool. I forgot you could upgrade the, uh, you could upgrade the alt arts. It's pretty cool. Now we got a mystery card because we got up to 58. And we got Professor X, my boy. Ongoing lockdown this location. Cards can be added or removed. I like that. That's pretty cool. Seems like a nice little end game kind of card um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i'm gonna go ahead and uh actually oh we got some more credits yeah i guess i'm gonna go ahead and probably just chill for a little bit might play some more off stream yep yeah. see you guys later love you